Sure. It's a totally different level. So um, when I met Jay, he wasn't necessarily like the healthiest human I've ever met. Um, but during quarantine, we have made a conscious effort to be even healthier together. He's now joining me for exercise hour. Ooh. So great, so important. His exercise is like a prison workout. Mine's more of a routine. <laughs> that's, that's us. I got my CrossFit weights just right in front of the house, throwing them around, getting anything I can in prison style. And I'm on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's building up past, like he's doing X amount of sit-ups and push-ups every day. And I think he's like, he's like, I'll get to 200 by this day. And I'm like, okay, you do whatever you need. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, mine's more of like a Pilates yoga driven um, hey. workout. And he's At least you guys are both doing it. Yeah, Sorry. it's always, I feel like for us, like, if we don't get our workouts in, like, you know, together or separate at the same time, we either, we have this, like, almost like we, we have this energy we need to get out. It makes us feel better afterwards. Yeah. Almost like a murderous yeah. tension. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Where it's just good, it's just that's good for everybody. living together, guys. Like, wait till you're married. I don't know if that's a thing for you guys, but wait till you're married and then you're like, boy, didn't you just do the dishes like I asked? We've <laughs> actually been so good. Like, yeah. we're really, like, rotating dishes and cleaning which actually wasn't that way before so well, and dog duties because we're fostering right. this pit bull it's forced us know, to be so, so organized cute. i know um, not gonna I, lie the first the first week was a little difficult we you're scared exhausted. you know what's going on but since we've implemented these very rigid structured uh tasks for ourselves from working out to dishes and dogs like it's actually made us a lot better yes oh oh that's so important like coming from our house, which is a house of four rescue animals. Yeah, I feel like I have dogs and cats. And <laughs> we can't help ourselves. I literally, at the beginning of quarantine, I was like, mm, I might just have to get another cat. And I was like, no. <laughs> I tried to talk him into getting cats, and he was like, no, happen. we'll get a dog. Yeah, no, I like my You know what? It cost me a lot of money. I, I feel that, like... I have I have two pieces of most of the furniture that I love like our chairs like I'm sitting on a Wassily chair right now and I'm like this is heaven but it my cat's claws can't affect the leather of this because it's tightly pulled but like I have a an heirloom chair and I have like an Eames chair and, and I'm like it? if I you know. attach this I will murder you murder you, know, you. I, just, <laughs> I like I like animals Water. that just love you constantly and that's dogs right they're always yes. they're always cats are just little assholes it depends on the cat it cats really is like, so great they're fun it yeah. it depends on the cat like it does. One of our, it, like one of our cats we got her she, this is our newest kitten she's a year now her name's bat we got her when she was like two months old which is way too young to get a cat you're supposed to wait right. um because they're but she was a rescue so it was like just wait until they become a dog her. go on yeah <laughs> we wait until they become a dog. but because she's grown up with our two dogs she, she acts, acts like a dog like a right puppy. and okay. like so i agree with that jump right in here i love people i love people that say oh my cat's you know uh acts acts like a dog and go oh really okay does your cat come when you call and they go yes Go, is your cat she does. play with you? And they go, yes. And I'm like, oh, so your cat acts like a dog? And they go, yes. And I go, guess what else acts like a dog? Every Dogs. dog you've ever fucking met. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Okay, but I have both. Like, I'm a lover of all of them. Like, you are. My, my dogs are sitting here chewing bones right now, and my cats are somewhere. You have cute little fluffers, too. They're like little adorable fluffy things, and we have a beast. We have a 70 pound I know. I beast. Saw. He's napping right now, though. <laughs> Blue, that's so cute, though. I know. I have a friend who lives in L.A., actually, and he has two pit bulls. Yeah. And they're both rescues and, like, squishy babies. But they're a lot of work. And they're, they're a lot of walking. And, like, a lot of, like, like, you could throw the ball for an hour and they would still be ready to... He's yeah, literally so much energy. his dick as we speak loudly right here in front of me. He tends to do that. I respect it. I get it. He does it all He's the time. bored. He's bored. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a you. Okay. Right? No. So Let's move on. Let's how move are on. you guys staying optimistic? Optimistic. I think like for us, we're both kind of like I, I call it like woo woo people. So we're into <laughs> we're into like positive affirmations. We're into meditation. We're both into like 
tarot cards and angel cards and stuff which i know is like really out there for a lot of people but like fuck you it's my life Uh, (laughs) love that love that so like um if it makes you happy uh, you should do it yeah it's it's fun like one of his valentine's day gifts that i got him was um a card reading with someone who does past life regression card readings so Mm -hmm. We've been doing a lot of like fun stuff like that with some people we love um, online and that's been really fun. But also like we, we both meditate and we've been making a lot of effort to like, like be conscious and be present, but also we're just, we know that we're incredibly lucky people and, and like we're incredibly lucky without a quarantine and without a pandemic, but within a pandemic, we're incredibly lucky. Like he gets to work. Yeah, he gets to work from home. We own a home. We're we're safe. We're healthy. We have family that lives close by that can help us and that we can help. Like we're incredibly blessed people. We all. I think that's in- super important is always remembering what what we have versus what we don't. Exactly, and in a time like this, when there are so many people who are are like could be losing their homes or. Exactly you know, like losing their lives, losing grandparents' lives. My best friend lives in Milan and another one of my best friends lives in China. So it's like, you know, um, seeing what's happening in their lives compared to ours. Also, like we live in Canada, which is like an amazing place, which our government has been acting like incredibly quickly to plank the curve, but also incredibly quickly to get people money for people who need it, like people who've been laid off, like, there's a lot of like employment insurance. There's a ton of money. There's I think over a billion, a hundred billion.